My miners appreciate your business. You'll have your Illyrium by the end of the week. I should tell you, Ambassador, the Chantry raised some fuss when they learned about our arrangement. The Inquisition must certainly seem an audacious idea to the Grand Clerics. We hope to convince them it is a necessary one as well. I'll take my leave. Good day. Who is she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Access to lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We're becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. Mage circles started falling years ago. The Chantry was troubled even before the Divine's murder. Yet many people continue to bear its great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. Are you sure? Families often fight the hardest. Having grown up among four siblings, I concede your point. I found, however, that the only time two parties cannot negotiate is when they cease to speak. We must learn to think beyond our own wants to secure peace in Thedas. The Inquisition will have plenty of time for that, between finding the Divine's murderer and sealing the breach. Busy as we are, I do have a question for you, if you've a moment. The remaining Grand Cleric sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? Will my answer change your reply to the Chantry? If Leliana, Cassandra, Cullen and I could agree on our official stance, I could answer that. We should decide soon. The revered mothers don't seem to know what to make of you. I'd tell the Chantry I was saved by circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. Please tell me if you find something. If Fiona and her malcontents are joining us as allies, we need to be prepared. Abominations are inevitable. Cullen doesn't have enough Templars to handle incidents. Some of the rank and file need to be trained. We can handle the mages. There's no need for Templars. Have any of these men faced an abomination before, my dear? Have you? The veil is broken and the raw power of the Fade rushes out like floodwaters through a shattered levee. You know as well as I do that mages attract demons where the veil is thin. And if demons can walk our world with no blood magic to summon them, how safe do you think our allies are? There has never been a greater threat to mages than the Breach. Until it is closed, no one is safe. You have a low opinion of your fellow mages. It's not so much an opinion as grasping the obvious. Magic is dangerous, just as fire is dangerous. Anyone who forgets this truth gets burned.
The Dalish get along just fine without Templars or Circle Towers. As I understand it, the Elves limit their risk by refusing to have more than three mages in a clan. Tell me, what becomes of the Dalish youngster who is not appointed first or second? If the clan can't raise the mage, they're sent to another that's in need of a first or second. And if there are no clans in need of a new apprentice? For those who value survival, sentimentality is not an option. Tell me something. As you will no doubt have a hand in shaping it, what future do you see for mages? Mages should be treated like anybody else. How free did you feel living on the run, never straying too close to villages or staying in one place too long? Paint the cage any color you like. It is still a cage. It's something to consider, my dear. Mages. Lovely. They should have this breach seal soon enough. I suppose their gold spends as well as anyone else's. It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> as for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. It was still a sacrifice, and still noble. And I would do it again. Anything I should know? Altegan has returned to Redcliffe Castle, and resumed his duties as Lord. The people are returning, slowly but surely. Unfortunately, our show of support for the mages has angered many. Anything I should know? I have nothing to report at the moment. I'll leave you to your work. The Inquisition can use that. The Inquisition supports free mages. What's next? Elves running Halamshiral? Cows milking farmers? Give me time. I'm sure I'll surprise you. I suspect that's untrue. Unless you strip yourself naked and allow the Chantry to flog you into repentance. Now that would surprise me. I do wonder if you've considered what this support of yours will do. For mages in general, I the Inquisition is seen as an authority. You've given Southern Mages license to, well, be like Mages back home. What would be wrong with that exactly? Nothing, at first. Thing is, the Imperium was once just like the South. Templars, proper circles, all that rot. Then it changed by inches. Not that this is reason to oppress us. Still, my homeland should be a cautionary tale, not a source of inspiration. Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked despondent, broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I suppose the Inquisition will judge him eventually. I wonder if there's any chance they'll show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. So we have gained the mages. Excellent. They should be able to seal the breach. You are certain you experienced time travel. Could it have been an illusion? 
A trick of the Fade. I've been to the Fade before. I'd know it. Point taken. What an amazing gift. It is vital the Inquisition succeed to avoid the future you witnessed. I'm surprised you're not more interested in your own future. I know enough. If that future happened, then I and Cassandra, Cullen and the rest failed to stop this Elder One. Speaking of which, you should ready yourself. For? This Elder One. You have now interfered with his plans twice. Once at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, and now again at Redcliffe. A being who aspires to godhood is unlikely to ignore such an affront. If Segret can get what I need, I'll pay the bastard myself. Perhaps another time. Blessings upon you. Well, that's mages all over. So many robes, I bet all of Ferelden lost their curtains. I'll just be the other side of Haven, just in case. These mages are here to aid the Inquisition. Don't worry. Sure, don't worry. Magic up there, magic down here. What's to worry about? I mean, yay, freedom. Great for them. Over there, away from me. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. The Mage Rebellion joins the Inquisition. I've got to admit, that's a twist I didn't see coming. One thing you saw in the future worries me. I mean, it was all bad. But Red Lyrium and Ferelden infecting people and growing out of them, that's bad. And finding more of it really punches a hole in my Red Lyrium at the temple was a coincidence theory. How long does it take for Red Lyrium to grow? How fast can it spread? It took years to infect people in Kirkwall, but no one there was actually ingesting the stuff. This Elder One managed to take the worst thing I can think of and make it worse. That's an accomplishment. We can't leave a single piece of that Lyrium out in the wild. I'm with you on that. I've got people trying to find out where the red stuff came from. I think maybe we should make that a priority. But that's enough doom and gloom. You just won a big victory for the Inquisition. What are you going to do to celebrate? I was planning to put my feet up. Maybe grab a nap. You? Whatever I do, it'll be as far from Cassandra as I can get. Things should be calm around here for at least the next hour. Take a moment to enjoy it. If the world's about to end, I'm sure the Seeker will let us know. Good luck sealing those rifts. The mages are ready to approach the breach. I pray this will be enough to close it. You weren't happy with how I brought in the mages. Do you have a problem with me as well? Of course not. <sighs> I have no intention of endangering your alliance, but I must ensure the safety of those here. That concern extends to the mages. They are putting themselves at risk for the Inquisition, as are you. Any precautions taken are meant to aid you, nothing more. 
I hope you will accept them as such. Is there anything I should know? Not at present. I should get to know you better. We are working together after all. What would you like to know? All right. Where are you from? I grew up in Ferelden, near Hongli. I was transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the Blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle Tower? You who survived the Blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak of it. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. The Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between Mages and Templars fell apart. An apostate blew up the Chantry, and the Knight Commander went mad. Other than that, it was fine. What happened between Kirkwall's Mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between Mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order, but Red Lyrian had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirkwall's champion, turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her in the end. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. Varric's from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Varric's insistence. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression on my face, and it's bad for my health. I'll let you return to your work. Another time, then. And what are we supposed to do, exactly? What you always do, complain. We've already spoken with Commander Cullen. No one listens. We want better quarters. We want the Templars kept at a distance. And some respect for... This is not the Circle. You mages are our allies, not our wards. Act like it. How are we supposed to... Deal with it. It never ends, evidently. You don't need to tell me that. I just don't know who told them I'm the one to yell at. Is it that bad? The mages are here as equals. They need to get used to what that means. It is your doing, after all. You created this alliance. Well, I hope it works. What other choice do we have? Oh. I do sound like I'm blaming you, don't I? I don't disapprove. In fact, you did well. You made a decision when it needed to be made. And here we are. I wish I could say this was my doing. We wouldn't be here at all if you hadn't stood up against the Chantry. You're being kind. You're discounting your role in this. Let's close the breach. Then we can say how successful I was. Nice work at Redcliffe. I could help the mages learn to work with Inquisition soldiers, if you like. <coughs> Not that the chief has any apostates in the group. 
Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the judges? The Templars have holed up in Thoranfall Redoubt. No idea what's happening inside. I could have some of the boys poke around. If nothing else, we'd get a better look at the land. We'll talk later. So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Uh. Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. And you're a mage, so that's saying something. Anyway, I hope our new friends have what it takes to close the breach. Damn thing gives me a headache just looking at it. Now that we've got better mounts, if you like, I can show you a few tricks to get more out of them. Oh, can you now? Fine, forget I said anything. You Pharrellians, growling at everyone but your dogs. No, no, go ahead. Who knows? Maybe some fancy noble riding might save my life if a scouting ride goes wrong. And maybe I'll show you a few tricks as well. Master Thren says you won't have more until next week.
was never going to be an easy answer to the mage dilemma. What you did for the mages took courage. You gave them a chance. Everyone deserves one. Let's see what we have.
Let us begin.